thank you guys so much for coming. 45, wow. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. <laughs> I, at middle age, am really questioning what happens to your mind and connection to your body. I've had therapists say, and you've got a little body dysmorphic thing going on. The gay culture is especially obsessed with youth and beauty. Have you ever been on a diet? All my life. I was bulimic and I had hundreds of ulcers in my throat. My husband bought me a new ass, new calves, all this full body life. Know, but... Men come into the gym because they're trying to uphold this super unfortunate standard that's being placed on them by other gay men in the gay community. And it's wild to see. There are some like hurt men. When you look in the mirror, mm -hmm. what do you see? I don't know the answer to that. I was always taught that I wasn't good enough just from jump. I didn't look a certain way. I didn't perform my assigned gender at birth a certain way. The center of my face exploded. It was throbbing. I feel like my whole life I've been in a war just trying to justify my beingness. I felt I was living through this Holocaust in a society that was operating like it wasn't happening. I buried an entire phone directory. That's what we did in the 80s. I do think that there was this great desire to not appear sick. In psychology in general, we see that it's never about one thing. We are so much more than what our bodies are. We have been so focused on the body, particularly gay men, that the mind-spirit aspect of it has had a backseat.